All right, uh, welcome everybody. Uh, my name is David Petrunik, and I'm going to be showing you how to identify support and resistance. So, I, I've, you know, I think a lot of you probably feel as if you know support resistance, and I'm sure you do. But I'm going to show you a different perspective um, that's really helped me out in my trading. So, <clears throat> here we go. Uh, there's something called a fractal pattern. You might have heard of it. You might not have. But it's really what defines a support and resistance level. Um, and uh, so we, what we do is we go to the candle. We'll look at the candle, and, and that'll help us define the uh, support and resistance level. Uh, you can see I've drawn these lines here, which represent the levels. And I'm just going to zoom in just a wee bit here and uh, on, on the candles themselves. And you might want to write this down. This is the definition of a, um, of a high based on this technique I'm showing you is you have your center high right here. And this is your highest high. And as prices were going up, they were going up nice and steady. And all of a sudden, they hit a point where like, ah, oh, you know, we, they pulled back a little bit. And you can see the wick there. This is the body of the candle. The prices opened up down here, ran as high as here, pulled back, and closed right there. And then, they, they, then the next bar opened up here, went as low as that wick, but closed at that body. And then the next bar opened there, and okay, and onward. So once we had two candles closed to the right of this high candle, our high was in. Our resistance level was in, okay? Now in this market here, in this snapshot that we can see here, prices are quite a bit choppy. Kind of chop up, chop down. It's and prices are in consolidation, and and when you get a lot of resistance points on a downtrend, really kind of close to each other, like you see here, um, you should watch these closely because uh, you know I'm going to show you a different market as well. But when when they're spaced out, well, first of all, you have to understand this: above every one of these highs, people that went short up here put their stop order up here. They might even went short down here and they still put their stop order up there because this is the safest spot. If it goes too much higher than this, you don't want to be in it. It's probably going to keep going. So this would be like the safest spot. And then when people got short here, a lot of them put their stop orders here. They didn't want to risk themselves all the way up to there. So they figured if it could break these highs, it's probably going for these highs. And onward. Same, there's actually um, a defined high here. Here's our center high. We have one, two to the left, one, two to the right. Okay? Now, lows are the same thing, it's just upside down. Here is uh, a center low here, and we have one, two to the right. And you can see prices came down, bounced off of it, and took off, went back up. And prices came down again, near it, near it, bounced it above it, near it, bounced it, and then this time tested it right there, and then bounced up again, got back above it, and bounced higher. Um, And what most likely was happening here is prices, um, they took out these lows here, and they were that they were really close to, I'm um, sorry, yeah, prices took out these lows with this little move, and then they went up and then ran out of gas, and then came back down and tested these lows, and bounced again, and then ran out of gas, and then came down and took out these lows. So what was happening, prices really didn't really have any direction. They didn't really know where they should be going, but they knew that they, they had to move, and, and prices will find liquidity by taking out stops. If, the, if your stop is too tight, it's just the way it is. And so this also helps with knowing where and where to place your stops and where not to. Like if I was short this market at this point in time, I'd probably want my stop above here because I figure if it, if it took out this high, it's going to take out this one, this one, this one, it's going to keep running. And in fact, I might even want to go long. In the same case, I've got these lows down here, which are pretty close to each other. So if it takes out this low, I might want to go short because it's probably going to take out this low. It doesn't always work out that way. Um, you know, if, if the market gets some sort of directional um, information or you know directional volume, then it, it you know it, it can reverse. But these are like the, these these are like uh, landmines, and if and it's like a domino effect. If if you know if the landmines are really close to, close to each other, one might set off another one. And that's what happens when stop orders get really close to each other. Um, so there we go. So you just keep keep watching it, and these are these are our untested levels right here. Actually, this is one right here I didn't even identify, 
this one, this is a this is a tested resistance level, and I, I you know you want to let you don't need to even I didn't post it, but if if we were in a live market right now, which I'm not, showing you the past for illustrational purposes, and then we'll and then we can analyze it. Well, there's no reason to analyze the live, the live because this is going to be a recording anyway, but. Um, you can tune in to, for our live radio shows here at uh, JDFN.com. Um, you know, you can contact one of our reps and and get a copy of the software if you'd like to tune into our radio shows. We actually do this live analysis every single day. I um, call a lot of trades, and if you just want the alerts, we also offer alerts as well. So here we are. Um, this was t this this one was tested with this move here. Bam, bam. So I, you no longer need it. So you can just delete it. Once one's tested, you don't really need it so much. So there we go. This one held. If this one this one breaks, and you're probably going to want to go short because it's probably going to come down to this one. Keeps building. I went ahead and drew these because it takes a little bit of time to do. But these these little guys held. But if these little guys break, then they're okay. Yeah, we're probably going to see a little bit of a move down here. Yeah, there we go. You can go ahead and get rid of these because it really, I mean, they, they pose as future resistance, like you see right there. Um, but the thing with charts is you don't really want to, as soon as things get cluttery, you kind of want to get rid of some of your lines. So, uh, um, so as you can see here, the prices took out these lows, managed to, managed to test this low here, and then bounced. Notice the buildup of candles here. Notice how many lows were formed. We had, our, we had a low here formed. One, two, three to the left, or two to the left, and then two to the right. And it came down again and made a double one, which was like a, uh, you know, basically securing the area, uh, make, you know, showing the strength of it. And then, then made, the, made the run. So then it took out these highs. Then it was very easy for it to take out these, and then these, and then these. This is a very helpful tip, folks, if you can identify these types of setups. And um, so as you can see, once, once they got the momentum from these, it ran on these, 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 and these, and these. It ran all the way up. Just going to zoom in on it a little bit. Do four at the same time. So as you can see, um, things kept moving. They kept moving, and they, and then once they ran up on all these stops here, they ran out of gas. Actually, they uh, they ran they created their own stops along the way. I can see these big wicks right here where they're they're on a smaller time frame. They were creating highs. They created a high right here on a lower time frame. One here, one here, one here. So um, there was people calling the tops along the way, and they, and they finally when they quit, they gave up around right about there, and then and the market pulled back. Um, so yeah, that's how you do it. Hope you enjoyed the tip today, folks, and tune in for more. Um, we'll be going over plenty more tips. This is just the foundation. Have a great day.